the entry of China's first aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, into service with the People's Liberation Army Navy attracted considerable attention from both the Chinese press and military observers around the world. It is China's first aircraft carrier, and symbolizes the Chinese military's intention to modernize its armed forces. Though the intimate details of the carrier are not clear, but fundamental specifications of the vessel are available. The Nimitz-class supercarriers are a class of 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers in service with the United States Navy. The lead ship of the class is named for World War II United States Pacific Fleet Commander Admiral Chester W. Nimitz. Nimitz has been symbol of United States military might, and has been used to project power far from its coastlines. In this video, Defense Updates compares the two aircraft's carriers based on five key aspects, and provides an unbiased conclusion. So, let us get started. Number 5 The Kuznetsov class aircraft carriers were the last class of aircraft carriers designed for the Soviet Navy. Two hulls were laid down in the Ukraine before the Soviet Union collapsed. Kuznetsov serves today in the Russian Navy. The other hulk was purchased in 1998 by the People's Republic of China, and towed to Dalian Shipyard in northeast China. After being completely rebuilt and undergoing sea trials, the ship was commissioned into the People's Liberation Army Navy. The Nimitz-class aircraft carriers were designed to be improvements on previous U.S. aircraft carriers, in particular the Enterprise and Forrestal class. All ten Nimitz-class aircraft carriers were constructed between 1968 and 2006 at Newport News Shipbuilding Company, Virginia, in the largest dry dock in the Western Hemisphere. The Liaoning's size falls well below the U.S. Nimitz class carriers, the latter being over 60% heavier and 30 meters longer. Nimitz class displaces about 100,000 tons and spans 333 meters long, far outsizing the Liaoning. The numbers bear out the fact that the Liaoning is neither a lightweight nor a supercarrier like the Nimitz class. Size has undeniable impact on the capability of any aircraft carrier as it determines the number of aircrafts that it can operate. Liaoning's air wing of 30 Shenyang J-15 multi-role fighters falls well short of Nimitz-class capability to hold over 55 jets. It can be easily inferred that Nimitz has a distinct advantage over the Liaoning. Number 4 Liaoning is powered by gas turbines with eight boilers. The propulsion limits the Liaoning's range and endurance. Also, steam turbines can be unreliable and even dangerous. Like at least one occasion during recent sea trials, Liaoning appeared to suffer a steam explosion that temporarily knocked out the carrier's electrical power system. The failure was reported by Chinese media site Sina.com. Nimitz class is powered by two A4W nuclear reactors, kept in separate compartments. These power four propeller shafts and can produce a maximum speed of over 30 knots or 56 kilometers per hour. As a result of the use of nuclear power, the ships are capable of operating continuously for over 20 years without refueling and are predicted to have a service life of over 50 years. Clearly Nimitz class has huge advantage in terms of propulsion technology, and Liaoning is no match for it in this category. Number 3 The J-15 aircraft are Chinese modified variants of the Russian 4th generation Sukhoi Su-33. 4th generation fighters boast digital flight avionics and advanced radars that represent a significant improvement over the analog systems of 3rd generation aircraft. Chinese J-20 stealth fighter is not for meant for carrier operation, and it will be some time before it inducts a stealthy carrier-borne aircraft. The Nimitz strike fighters are primarily F-18 Hornets, and F-18 Super Hornets. These are twin-engine carrier-capable fourth-generation multi-role fighter aircrafts. U.S. is also going to operate F-35C very soon. 
the F-35C carries nearly 20,000 pounds of internal fuel for longer range and better persistence than any other fighter in a combat configuration. There is not much difference between the J-15 and F-18 Hornets or F-18 Super Hornets all of them being fourth generation aircrafts. The main consideration is that in near future, US will field F-35s whereas it will take a much longer time before China can field a stealthy carrier-based aircraft, giving slight advantage to Nimitz. Number 2 Liu Anning uses ski ramp to assist aircraft takeoffs. The US Navy uses a more efficient steam-powered catapult system to launch aircraft. Ski jump aircraft carriers have limitations, regarding how much ordnance can be loaded. The weight restriction issue is caused by a minimum airspeed requirement for flight from an aircraft carrier. Ski jump aircraft carriers generate their airspeed from the run-up distance on the deck of the aircraft carrier and an assist from the ski jump. Catapult aircraft carriers use a steam piston system that accelerates the shuttle attached to the aircraft to produce a much higher end speed. Because the weight of the aircraft impacts the end speed, the higher the weight of the aircraft the less end speed can be generated. For example, the J-15 when launched from the Liaoning can only carry 4,000 pounds of ordnance before it reaches its minimum airspeed requirement, conversely, the F-18 Super Hornet can carry over 12,000 pounds of ordnance on a catapult aircraft carrier. The large differences between the two aircraft carriers can certainly have impacts to tactical considerations for mission planning and sortie generation rates. Though carrier operators can bypass the inherent trade-off between carrying internal fuel and weapons on the aircraft, using mid-air refueling, the practice remains difficult to execute. Clearly Nimitz class has distinct advantage in this category. Number 1 Liu Anning is equipped with 3D air surface search radar over the main mast, and four multifunctional APAR panels. The aircraft carrier is armed with FL-3000N missile system, Type 1030 close-in weapon system and anti-submarine warfare is supported by ASW rocket launchers. The FL-3000N uses the passive RF or rear guidance system. It can engage subsonic and supersonic targets within the range of 9 km and 6 km respectively. The Type 1030 suits fires 9000 rounds per minute. Nimitz class possess multitude of different radars including electronically scanned array 3D radars. It is equipped with 16 to 24 IM-7 Sea Sparrow or NATO Sea Sparrow missiles. RIM-7 Sea Sparrow is a US ship-borne short-range anti-aircraft and anti-missile weapon system, primarily intended for defense against anti-ship missiles. Its range is 19 km. Close-in weapon duties are performed by Phalanx, and IM-116 rolling airframe missile. Phalanx Suzes has a 4,500 per minute rate of fire. RIM-116 rolling airframe missiles have speed in excess of 2 Mach. Liu Anning has no special protection, whereas Nimitz has 2.5-inch Kevlar over vital spaces. Nimitz class has more mature equipments when compared to Liu Anning, giving it some advantage. China's aircraft carrier, as well as the rest of its rapidly modernizing navy, puts Beijing in an elite club with the greatest naval powers in the world. Liu Anning is an impressive first attempt by China. But as evident from the comparison, Nimitz class is far ahead of Liu Anning in terms of inbuilt technology as well as the overall ecosystem. China's first home-built aircraft carrier is nearing completion. Satellite photographs indicate most major construction is complete, though much remains to be done. The carrier probably won't be operational until 2020 at the earliest. Ford-class supercarriers are being built by US to replace some of the United States Navy's existing Nimitz-class carriers. 
they are envisaged to be the most powerful carrier in the world and will start to be commissioned from next year. To know more check the above card. Clearly the aircraft battle is expected to heat up even further in coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.